In this video, I'm gonna show you something about animation that no one is talking about. And I think this is crucial because architectural visualization animations usually are really, really boring. And as I was growing up in this field of architectural visualization animations and stuff like that, I realized that there are two main factors that allow us to have a better architectural visualization animation and I'm gonna show you those two techniques in this video right now. So what are those techniques, so what are you talking about? So those techniques are number one, storytelling and number two, rhythm. As you guys can see, I have here an architectural visualization project that I got from a, that I got from a SketchUp file and I made some camera views in this animation here and before to tell you what I've been done to create this type of animation I will introduce you the main concept show you the result of the main concept and then I will explain in details what's going on okay so what is the main concept here I will just make my cameras then I will take screenshots from those cameras and with this screenshot in my hands, now I go to a editing video software. You can do that inside of Blender, but I don't like to use the, the video editing stuff inside of Blender. So I prefer to use the Viz Resolve. You can use whatever you want, but the main point is I take that screenshot and for each shot that I put on the video editing software, I allow myself with those screenshots to decide the time of those things and to use the second thing, which is the rhythm. And then I start to experiment with that to get my first view of my animation, to cut my song and to see how the entire thing should look like only using in screenshots. So this is the main concept. So now let me show you only within screenshots how the animation should look like and the intentions and movement. Take some seconds just to feel uh, and to think about what we just saw. And you could saw that this got excited. This got interesting. It was interesting to see only those screenshots throughout the scene. Uh, there are some screenshots that I really dislike it, but this is the main part of an, architect uh, an architectural visualization project that a lot of people forget about, mostly in animations, I think. That is the you need to create an, a good plan, a good travel, because your animation should be thinking like an experience. Anyway, some shots that I don't like were the shots of the TV. For example, this shot here. I really don't like how this shot is boring in my scene. I really think this shot is boring. So in my opinion, what I would change here which would be something like I could turn on the TV on this shot here which I could, I don't know, just make a fade out, something like that, turning on the TV and then showing the TV on, on, this, on the living room, something like that. So you can see that I'm thinking a lot about movement. I'm thinking a lot about rhythm. And this is the main part that makes architectural visualization animations more pleasing to the viewer. Rhythm and storytelling. An example of storytelling. Uh, Augusto, what's going on? Why you are showing just a floor with a wall in the beginning of the animation. This is boring. You are telling me that 
the most important thing is to run away from the boring stuff. Wait, bear with me. Where you are in this animation? Because if you come to Blender, you can see that we don't have an exterior part. We don't have a facade. We don't even have an entrance door. So, where am I? This is the first question that I'm asking for myself. Where am I in this animation? So, you are here. I'm telling to my viewer, you are here. Where? In a house. How am I telling to my viewer that he or she is inside of a house? Simple. I'm showing a wood floor. If I'm showing a wood floor, probably I'm inside of a house. So the viewer will feel instantaneously that he is inside of a house. Done. This is the main focus of this of this shot. I'm telling to the viewer, you are inside of a house. You just feel, you just know that this is a house and something is right about. For example, if the next shot show uh, an exterior, it would be extremely weird. Because what? Wait, uh, I was inside of a house, but now I'm in the outside. What's going on? This is the main focus of this stuff, you know? So this is storytelling. I'm using something extremely simple, which is showing a floor and a wall to present someone that he is inside of a house and done. No one will never think about it. Anyone will just see and that's it. Okay, I'm inside of a house, done, let's move on. This is the main focus of this shot. Second shot, same thing. I'm putting the person inside of the house. So uh, I'm moving inside the house using the uh, software in the screenshots to give an idea of that. And one of the shots that I think it's interesting to explain is this shot here. So why I'm creating a shot where it's spinning around like that. So the answer for that is simple. If you come here to Blender and select the camera that has this shot, you can see that, it, that I have a top-down camera, but the story that I would like to tell is I am climb up the stairs. I'm moving up the stairs to see this part here of the house, which is really interesting to see a bed and things like that. It's really nice, this apartment, I think. But I don't want to make a camera moving and turning like this. I think this is really lazy and not interesting enough. So my idea was make this camera here. Uh, let me select the camera first. Make this camera here move up and make this camera here spinning in the movement that the person would make to climb the staircase. So this is the main point about storytelling make the cameras with a purpose, make the cameras in a way that allow the viewer to understand what's going on and allow the viewer to understand the story, tell a story to the viewer. So now, come on, you are inside of a house. Done. This is the main point. This is the story of this shot. You are entering their house. This is why you are going through this hallway. And now let me talk about the most important thing, which is the rhythm. You can see clearly here that my shots are transitioning between the beats of the song. Look at that. And here I have another one, but I ignore that. So this is the rhythm stuff that I was talking about. If the animation go with the rhythm, so I'm going with the rhythm, I will start to see the animation and get the flow because the music is good. Boom, boom. So this is the thing. If you start to feel the song, you start to feel the, the stuff and the video and the audio are sync, you will think and you will feel uh, the groove, the vibe of the animation, you know? So here was my strategy. First, I make my first beat here and I make my first shot here showing the kitchen and I make quick shots that match the rhythm, showing the kitchen. You can see that I'm going through the beat of the song, but here I use the this snare, this finger snap stuff, which is ta, tum, ta, tum, tak, tum, tak. And in this next one, I stop it because uh, I felt this is just uh, too much <laughs> to add another one. It, it should be weird and dizzy. So the flow of the music, the flow of the video should match and you need to feel it. You know, you need to make it with your taste and your gut, but the techniques here match things in the rhythm. So you ta, tum, pa, tum, pa, tum, and here you stop. Okay, we have another one, but let's do another hit me. Because now 
uh, I'm not cutting the animation on the snap. I'm cutting the animation on the doom doom. So as you can see, boom, ta, boom, and I make a transition. So here, two transitions, boom, boom. Why? Just because it's cool. <laughs> because it's felt cool to do that. Boom, boom. And you have something different. Boom, boom. It's cool, it's engaging to go with the animation and to feel it, to make, to see things matching like that. This is my tip for you today. When you are creating any architectural visualization animations, make sure to plan your animation head and sync it with the song. Make it engaging by telling a good story and have hit me. And if you would like to learn with me how to create architectural visualization inside of Blender, well, I have an <laughs> architectural visualization course that you can access in the link in the description below. We are in early access, so uh, I'm developing more and more content for this course, but you would see that there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on inside of that. I'm posting new lessons uh, basically weekly, so if you'd like to know more about this training, uh, I invite you to click in the link in the description below. Okay. Thanks for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye. Take care.